Everyone knows about the man named Jimmy Beast, Mr. Breast, but many out there just call him Mr. Beast. He is the biggest content creator on the planet with millions of subscribers and millions of that sweet, sweet money. Recently, there has been a swarm of new allegations coming out about Mr. Beast and his brand, his videos, a specific someone from the group, and of course, his new Amazon Prime game show that is in production as of right now. As many out there are saying that this is the start of the downfall of Mr. Beast. But why is that? To start off, I want to briefly talk about the Ava Chris Tyson situation, as this is the most talked about controversy on the internet as of right now. But I do mainly want to focus on the Beast game situation, as not a lot of people are really talking about it right now, and it's honestly kind of a major issue if the allegations are true. Anyways, if you all don't know already, Ava Chris Tyson was one of Jimmy's best friends for years, and was a major part of the Mr. Beast group. You would see her in numerous videos and challenges, and essentially helped the success of the brand and built the Mr. Beast channel to what it is today. Recently, there has been grooming allegations against her, as there have been numerous old tweets, Reddit posts, and Discord messages of Ava saying edgy and disgusting jokes. The problem with the situation was that she was saying this sort of stuff to minors, as at the same time, she was a fully grown adult. I believe during this time she was around 21, 22 at this point, which is an age where you could definitely understand that, hey, what I'm doing is fucking wrong. Why am I doing this? One of the big issues that came about the situation was her relations with an individual that goes by Lava. I'm not going to go too in depth about it in this video because there's been thousands of other people who have already made videos about that topic. I'm going to try to break it down as best as I can. Lava was a moderator for one of Ava Tyson's Discord servers and was also good friends with her. Lava also appeared in past Mr. Beast's videos as well and had good relations with the team. But during this time, the quote-unquote edgy jokes that Ava was so used to saying during this time led to her saying some pretty disturbing and disgusting messages and conversations with Lava who was a minor during this time, as well as with other Discord server members who were also minors. Lava recently came out on Twitter to deny these allegations and claim that Ava did nothing wrong. A few days later, after more Discord messages were made public, Lava backed down and agreed that, yeah, these messages were quite inappropriate to be saying to a minor. I think we could all agree that when you're an adult, you should never be saying any of this sort of stuff to a minor. Even if you claim that it was just dark, edgy humor, it's still disgusting and inappropriate behavior. Hell, just don't communicate with minors in the first place if you're going to be acting like that. It's not right. I also wanted to bring up that in one of the messages Mr. Beast Jimmy himself responded to, as well as responded to a few tweets by Ava during this time as well, which is shocking knowing that Jimmy knew that all of this behavior was going on behind the scenes and never stepped in to stop Ava. Ava, from some of these messages and social media posts, was into a thing called lollies, and also a fan of a specific artist known as Shadman, who made this sort of artwork. Lollies meaning characters from anime that appear young and underage, and a lot of the artwork that Shadman made was very explicit and inappropriate. Ava and Mr. Beast were roommates a few years back, and in a few older videos, there was a picture of one of Shadman's artwork printed out and posted on their wall in their house. This artwork was allegedly commissioned by Ava herself, but who knows if this was true or not. Still doesn't change the fact that this disgusting behavior was going on behind the scenes. Since the allegations of Ava Chris Tyson came out, Mr. Beast has made a statement that she will no longer be a part of the brand and was kicked out. There is a lot more information that I didn't cover for the situation, but I think we can all agree that Ava was in the wrong and shouldn't have been saying this sort of stuff to minors, and shouldn't have been interacting with an individual like Shadman. But as all of these allegations are being unfolded, more is coming out about Mr. Beast. On July 24th of 2024, YouTube channel Dogpack4040 released a video titled, I Worked for Mr. Beast, He's a Fraud, in which he states that he was a former Mr. Beast employee. And in the video he explains all of the not so good things that Mr. Beast did during this time, from faking his own videos and trying to build trust with his impressionable viewers, doing illegal lotteries and giveaways, only having friends and family who have relations with the brand or famous people winning the prizes in each Mr. Beast video, rigged and staged challenges with predetermined winners, 
lying about the Feastable chocolate brand being a healthy alternative when the new ingredient is filled with sugar and processed ingredients, faking signatures for his t-shirt giveaways, giving his fans to do free labor work in Walmarts just to make his Feastables brand stand out more in a candy aisle, and much, much more. The video at the time of this recording has around 4.5 million views and is getting tons of support and curious viewers wondering why Mr. Beast is doing all of this. Money, obviously, and if these allegations are true or not. Now in the video at some point, he does show proof of the things that he's talking about actually happening, such as faking Mr. Beast signatures on t-shirts and selling them and starting up illegal lotteries. But once again, all of these are just allegations as this hasn't really been confirmed yet. Overall, it is a really good analysis video and I strongly recommend you all to give it a watch. Link to the video is in the description below. As this was all unfolding, the production of Mr. Beast's Amazon Prime series, Beast Games, was being filmed and taking place in Las Vegas. And oh my god, the reports that have come out about this show is really bad. So as the production was going on for the first few days, many came out and explained what was going on behind the scenes, and how everyone, contestants and production team, were all being treated, allegedly. Now reports are coming out that many participants from Beast Games have been taken to the hospital due to lack of food and water. Another allegation regarding the show involves the use of 2,000 trash bags, which were being used by contestants as they were wearing them, and were thrown out soon after not being very environmentally friendly. Many individuals experienced medical issues coming from both the contestants and the staff, from people being dehydrated, getting injuries such as broken bones from competing, and numerous people literally having seizures during all of this. The seizures came from individuals with medical issues and those who need medication to prevent this from happening. Allegedly, those people had to hand over five days worth of medication to the production team. These people were denied medication during the production. How does that even happen? And how is that even legal if that's the case? There have also been reports that people were denied food and water, and reports were also saying that when given food, they were fed pretty much slop, and that those people were eating roughly 400 to 800 calories every 12 hours. That is not normal, that is not healthy. Most of these allegations are coming from the medical team and people who worked on production, as some of them probably weren't signed an NDA, and so they can come out and say all of this stuff without any issue. Once filming ends and the contestants' NDAs expire, there will probably be way more shit that comes out from it, and a fuck ton of lawsuits. Creator Rosanna Pensino has been very critical about Mr. Beast for the last couple years, as in the past she was in a Mr. Beast challenge video and was wrongfully eliminated. More on that was explained in the Dog Pack 4040 video. She has uploaded two viral TikTok videos explaining more about Beast Games, as she had emails sent to her from those who worked on the production explaining everything that unfolded. The information said in these videos is pretty much everything that I already mentioned earlier. But in one case, the challenges were also rigged and gave mainly young athletic men an advantage over the women and elderly. Some of the men used this to their advantage to take out women, and it got so bad that allegedly they were hitting and tackling women, and one of the women got knocked unconscious because of it. Most of the injuries and broken bones on this challenge were mostly women, allegedly. In one of Rosanna's videos, she claimed that it got so bad that IATSE, which is the International Alliance of Theatrical Stage Employees, a union, has sent out emails to their union workers stating that no member of IATSE is permitted to work on this production as it has been deemed unfair. That is crazy. With all of these allegations coming out about Beast Games, from violence on set, to people being denied medication, poor production, contestants being treated poorly, and so on, you can't help but think how horrible all of this is if these allegations are true. And looking back at Dog Pack's video about Mr. Beast, you can kinda connect the dots between the allegations said about Mr. Beast from that YouTube video to the Beast Games allegations that are being thrown around as of right now, from unfair and rigged challenges to poor mistreatment of their contestants and staff. And as for the Ava Chris Tyson situation, more is coming out about it, and as of right now, she is no longer a part of the Mr. Beast group. In conclusion, there needs to be an investigation on Beast Games to confirm if these allegations are really happening. Ava Chris Tyson is in the wrong, and Jake the Viking is still the best Mr. Beast friend.